Hi, welcome to another great CAD basic demonstration. It's March 2020. We're all under constraints throughout the world, so I've decided to put out some videos. I'll try and do one a day for the next 21 days, which is the 21 days that we have to be in our homes. Okay, what we're going to do today is install the software, and we're just going to uh, program a microcontroller. We're just going to make an LED flash. What will that look like? Okay, well, this is my little setup. I've got a little chip. I've got a resistor. That resistor is connected to an LED. I'm going to show you how to connect up the programmer in a moment. I'm using a PicKit 2. It could be a PicKit 3. I don't care. It could be a any myriad of programmers. We're just going to use Great Car Basic to program it. The connections we'll worry about in a minute. So first of all, let us go and get hold of uh, Great Car Basic off the internet. Okay. So we're going to go to the internet, type in Great Car Basic, download. That might be the quickest way. Go to SourceForge. Go to SourceForge. There you go. Download and press the green button to download the software. That will download the software. To save time, I've already got it in my download folder and I will install it for us. Okay. All right. Okay. So it will go through a number of dialogues. Read the dialogues, if you would, and uh, accept our license agreement. Read it slowly and then understand. The um, take the defaults and thank our developers. Uh, I would accept the um, default installation folders, and I would check everything apart from the bottom one when you get to this menu, and then just install everything. It says that I've got it open, which I have because that's rather silly of me. So I'll just close it if you don't mind. I don't say that. Press not, and away we go. It's just installing it all. Okay. So whilst it's installing it, I'll minimise that, and uh, I'm going to show you some other stuff I've got um, available. So as I showed you, we've got the uh, chip we're going to be programming. We've got a programmer, which we might have a look at later on. Um, and shortly we'll be looking at the actual um, um, code itself. Now I've, this is a new studio. <laughs> this new studio has got cut the screens, cut the cameras, hence you can see more cameras than before. And um, I can then sort of move around quite nicely to make this a bit more interactive. So let's get the uh, installation done. I, there's a release announcement. Read that if you would. Uh, tells you what's going on. And then it opens up. It opens up the um, editor. You might not get that small little dialogue because I get it every time. Now, you'll get three files installed, so I'll ignore that one. You get a sample file, uh, the release change note, and the release note for the README for the editor. So let's have a quick um, zip around um, the um, the Synrite editor. We'll zoom in on it a little bit for you. There we go. Um, what we've got is some quite simple. We've got, said, we've got these tabs that we saw before. Three tabs are installed by default sample program. We've got view demos. We've got a few thousand demos if you go into the, um, the demonstration folder. Um, you've got generator hex, which is uh, generate a hexadecimal file and put it inside of the um, program. It's, it's this icon here, green and yellow. Then we've got to make a hexadecimal file. Make an assembler file, assembler file, create a flash file, and a PPS tool. I'll talk about that in a moment. So, with no more ado, we're going to make it flash. Make that LED flash very quickly. And actually, I'm just going to take a copy of this program here, and we can create a new program. Because all that green stuff in the previous editor, that's just comments. Okay, all right. So this says. Um, Lighten the LED, the, the LED for 100 milliseconds. That's great. But the problem with this program is it's not for my chip. Okay, So I've got to have a chip line. I have to tell it it's got a chip. And it has to have a name. My chip is called 16F18313. I know that because it's written on it. Then I've got a program that's the main body. Uh, it's got a do loop here it's got a do forever and it will loop here so do needs a matching loop it will loop to it 
and it's going to pulse or turn electricity on on a particular port for 100 milliseconds and then turn it off it will go off and then wait for 900 milliseconds i'm going to save that file take the default names and just i have saved that in the background now problem is is that each chip has uh, different slightly different names for the ports so i'm going to use the pps tool to find out what my tool is called okay so let's have a look at what's going on in here i can type in the chip name again in here and it, look there's a little picture of um or the chip look it's got they're called ra0 ra1 ra2 i'm going to connect it to ra1 so let me just check if that's true if i go back to the um camera look that is connected to the there's the little that's pin number one um pin number one is the pin that is here so i'm i'm connected to the third pin or the second pin on the left hand side that's ra1 that's correct if i look at here ra1 is here that's beautiful so i'm going to change my source program to ra1 in here like that ra1 now when i uh, create a hex file and program it the first time it will uh, do some syntax checking and do the validation on the uh, programmer um, but here we go look it's actually programming it now and we'll see it burst into life and it will start flashing it we have an led that is flashing it's flashing it on for 100 milliseconds and then off for 900 and to prove that i've got the programming software in the background here i can i can um I can erase the chip and it will stop flashing. I can then change my, I don't have to do it, I don't have to erase it, but if I change that to 1000 milliseconds and generate a new program in a few seconds, less than one, is it one second? It's now changed the pulse to that. So, how do we do the connectivity between the programmer? This is a programmer, looks like that and the chip and that's the secret here how do we do that well we can do that quite easily by matching up five connections and those five connections are master clear vdd vss um, icsp which is the protocol it uses to put down these two wires that for data and CLK for clock and you just need to figure out what these five connections are on that little old chip and job done so if we look at that um, if we look at in the um, we've got five wires we've got five on here I've got five connections and they connect through to the um, chip itself I'm not going to spend too much time on that but look you know all I've got is a resistor and uh, an LED and it is flashing and to be quite frank I could do a lot more than that if I look at my um, demonstrations I've got I can make that flash I can get an awful lot out of this very very small chip so the goal here was to um, show you um, how to um, install um, which I've shown you and how to very simply program an LED um, using great car basic so um, with, with that done uh, let's call it a wrap